All right, summer is over. Summer's over. First storm of the year is coming in Saturday night. So got the old 22 out of the storage container and I put it away pretty much ready to ride. But I guess the one thing I'm gonna do is just run through it really quick. Check track tension. I'm gonna change the chain case oil, but while I'm doing so, I wanna have a visual look at the chain. Look at it, look, have a look at the chain adjuster. Make sure everything looks good. Um, I could just pull the drain plug out of it, dump new fluid in there, but let's have a look. So I got the sled in the air, and one thing that is kind of difficult is getting the muffler out. So I pull this little screw out here. That makes it a little easier, but it's just kind of a tight fit, but we'll get it out. I'll show you. So you can see I got the muffler off. Pretty simple. Um, it would be easier if I took the hood off. If I took this little piece off the turbo, it would come right out, but um, it, I weaseled it out anyway. I did drop the bolt and the spring behind the muffler, but luckily it didn't go under the engine. As you can see, it's pretty clean in here. I really have not worked on this snowmobile. I changed the hood just to have a different color, and that's about it. So unplug the temp sensor out of the, out of the muffler. We're gonna unplug the speed sensor, unplug this capacitor, and just kind of move the coolant tank out of the way. And then I'm gonna zip off all the bolts with an impact, and we'll have a look in there. All right, there's a little 10 millimeter here that holds a foot well to the chain case cover. It gives a little strength. There's a T40 Torx right in the center. As you can see in here, we've got some oil running out of the chain case cover. Uh, all the bolts are out and it's ready to come out. So they're a little tricky to get out if you've never done one before, but once you've done one, I forgot to take this guy off, just kind of rotate it forward like this and it comes, sneaks around the footwell. All right, as you can see, got the cover off. Chain looks great no broken links uh, no excessive wear on the adjuster in fact uh, not a lot of wear on the adjuster so i think my chain tension was correct uh, it's just good peace of mind to pull this cover off i want to visually inspect the chain and the adjuster if you have a chain failure in the back country it could be a really bad day it could be somewhere where it's not going to get towed out of so that either means helicopter ride or back to the shop for parts and you're fixing it on the mountain now, neither of which you really want to tangle with so but ever since Skidoo went to this long chain case I've now I personally haven't had a chain failure so but um, good to look good to change oil and um, as you can see there's no snow outside so I might as well be wrenching on my snowmobile let's put it back together And before we zip this thing tight, I just want to show you something that's kind of interesting. Um, all the bolts for the chain case are actually self-tapping. So if you look, let me see if I can line this up. See, they almost look like triangles. So the chain case, if you were, for some reason, had to buy a chain case, not the cover, the actual case itself, or you were working at the Skidoo factory, uh, you'd be threading these holes with these bolts. So. Um, I always like to make sure they're started before I put any tools on them, um, but it's kind of interesting. Does anyone else do this? A 10 minute job turns into 20, turns into 30, because I lose everything. It needs to be find my 3 8 extension on my iPhone. I like to find everything.
All right, the sled. All right. All right, the sled's all buttoned up now. Muffler's back in. The chain case cover's back on. Temperature probe and the muffler's plugged back in. Speed sensor and the chain case cover's plugged back in. And our shock capacitor's plugged back in. I like to visually check all that stuff a couple times. Better to know now and fix it now before we try to ride it Sunday. I'm just going to put some fluid back into it. I bought, of course, I bought the XPS chain case oil. Um, XPS spends a lot of money formulating these fluids for these snowmobiles. So I don't cheap out on fluids. Um, and it is inexpensive. It was about 10 bucks for 12 ounces. The manual calls for 8.5, so I just put 9 in there. Don't forget to put the plug in the top. It makes a mess. Ask me how I know. All right, and that's it. Chain, chain's good. Fluids are new. I'm gonna give this thing a bath and pray for snow. See you up there.